Okay guys, my balloons are a little sad because I've had them for over a week to celebrate my 1,000 subscribers. I got them as a gift from my friends over at Easter Kings. I didn't get a chance to film the video until now, so they're a little deflated, but you get the point. Go, just go, you look at the thumbnail picture. You can see how beautiful they looked originally. Hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get into this video. All right, y'all, we did it. We hit a thousand subscribers last week and I am so eternally grateful to all of you who decided that my content was worth you hitting that subscribe button. If you're here for the first time, my name is Tasia and I love sharing my work from home life as well as sharing some social media and YouTube tips. Today's video, I thought I would share six tips on what I think really helped increase my subscriber count and being able to hit a thousand subscribers in less than a year. So I've been on YouTube for about six or seven years now, but totally off and on. I put up a couple of videos when my son was born and then I fell off for a couple of years and then I posted some videos and then I didn't. I only really got serious about my channel last year. I was home because of the pandemic and I decided to find another creative outlet. So I started posting YouTube videos and I only really got serious about it in May last year. I decided to finally start posting according to a schedule and posting every single week. I did that consistently from about May to August. And then I took a big break from September to November. So I took three months off, particularly because I was in the process of finishing renovations on my house, selling my house, buying a new house, and then moving into a new house. It was a lot. So I decided to put YouTube on hold for a little bit and I picked it back up in the end of November. I think it was like November 30th or basically December. I started posting again. So I've only been consistently posting on YouTube for about nine months in total and I have reached a thousand subscribers which I'm pretty excited about and as most of you know they always say that hitting your first thousand subscribers is one of the most challenging things and is one of the slowest part of the YouTube channel process so I'm very very excited that I've hit this milestone and I'm looking forward to where my channel might go from here but I want to share with other fellow youtubers who are just starting channels or just coming up slowly like myself here are the things that I feel have really helped increase my subscriber count over the last year so the very first thing I'm gonna to tell you is gonna make you want to slap me because you've probably heard this a hundred times before but consistency is definitely key I know it's super annoying for you to hear that but it totally makes sense for a lot of reasons one one of the things I know that when I go look at someone's YouTube channel if I don't see that they're posting consistently or they haven't posted anything recently I am less likely to subscribe to that channel so definitely posting consistently whatever that might look like if for you it's only once a week if for you it's every three days whatever it is try to stick to a particular posting schedule because that is going to make your audience more likely to subscribe to you because nobody wants to subscribe to a channel that they don't know when the next time the person is going to post anything it's like watching a television show if you don't know when the show is ever going to air and it's sporadic you're less likely to follow that channel instead you are looking forward to every Wednesday is Handmaid's Tales Day you get excited right so it's the same thing with YouTube try to stick to a consistent posting schedule the second part of this tip is that consistency doesn't just mean how often you post consistency means being consistent with your branding be consistent with your tone being consistent with your topics and your content if you look at my channel you will see that I have a fairly consistent branding I try to use the same fonts the same look my photos tend to look similar and have the same feel just try to keep your entire branding consistency because it gives people that recognition so when your video pops up in that browser feature you're more likely to get people to click on it and people feel when there is a whole package they're going to be more enticed to subscribe to your channel and that leads into my second tip which is to brand your YouTube channel so again if you look at my channel you will see that I have similar color schemes similar fonts I have a whole brand and look to my channel so that people know that this is me and this is my style and it makes me different from anybody else. So nothing irks me more, especially as a communications professional, than to look at people's thumbnails or YouTube channel and notice the fact that like their fonts are all over the place, their color schemes all over the place. It's just not appeasing to the eye and people are less likely to subscribe to your channel. So definitely try to create a brand, logos, color schemes, fonts, choose all of that and try to stick to it as much 
as possible. It's totally okay if you wanna change it up every once in a while. If you wanna update your branding every six months to a year, that's okay as well. Especially because YouTube is an evolving platform, so therefore something that seemed really cool or trendy at one point in time is going to move on and not seem so cool or trendy at another point in time. So if definitely you have to evolve with the times to some degree. Be consistent with your branding so that people feel that they really know who they're following and you can stand out against anybody else. My third tip is to clean up your YouTube channel. So like I said, because I had started YouTube a long, long time ago, originally when I started on this channel, I was posting a lot of mommy topic type videos and I was reviewing baby bottles and uh, diaper bags and things like that that just don't fit with my brand anymore. So even though I have some amazing videos on there that did really, really well, like I have a baby bottle video that has about 20,000 views on it. Different items and different reviews about what um, items worked for them and I found that very helpful. So I thought I would uh, join in to the, the culture and uh, make my own videos as well. But at the same time, it doesn't really fit with my brand anymore and it doesn't fit with the things that I'm talking about now. So I took that video and it's still on my channel, but it's just no longer on the front page of my channel. If you look at my channel, you will see that I tried to keep similar topics together and try to make sure that it's really clear when someone comes to my channel what topics I am talking about and what kind of content they can expect and when they subscribe to my channel. So if you have a whole bunch of things going on on your channel and it's very distracting or you don't have organized playlists and things it could look really messy to someone and again if they don't feel that there's a whole consistency and professionalism with your channel they're probably less likely to subscribe to you okay tip number four is to create binge worthy playlists so what I have done is I tried to narrow down my channel to talk about only a set number of things they're more likely to subscribe because they're interested in that particular topic and so that's why on my channel I have organized those topics into different playlists so again, if you go to my channel, you will see I have a work from home playlist. I have another playlist for my YouTube tips. I have another playlist for anything talking about social media. So everything's all organized and it's really clear to people what I'm talking about. The other great thing about that and what's going to also encourage people to subscribe to you is that if they see that there is a number of videos in a particular topic and they're really interested. When people see that a great video is just not a one-off on your channel, but they say, hey, I really like work from home videos. Tasia has a whole series of work from home videos. I'm probably gonna binge watch that entire playlist. And then by the end of it, I'm more likely to subscribe because most people often don't subscribe after just one video. More likely they have gone through your channel or they went through a playlist and they watched a couple more videos before you were worthy of hitting that subscribe button. So I definitely highly recommend you organizing your videos into different playlists by different topics and it gives people more of an understanding of what topics you're covering and they're probably more likely to subscribe to you. Tip number five is to talk about other videos that you have that are related to the video that you're currently filming. That way when someone is watching a video they already hear from you that you are speaking about this topic in another video or that you are more likely to do content on this. Again people are likely to subscribe to you if they know that you are talking about something that they're really interested in and they feel like that's something that's the consistent content they're gonna get from you so in every single video that I do I do my absolute best to point to another video that is related to that so for example today I'm talking about how I gained a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel in less than a year so someone who's interested in that video might actually also be interested in another video I did which is how to start a YouTube channel in 2021 because most likely someone who's watching this video is someone who is also getting started on YouTube or is a small YouTuber and therefore is interested in watching other videos related to YouTube tips. So if any video that you're doing, you might have another video that you could relate to and just sort of flag with your viewer. Again, that's probably more likely for them to hit that subscribe button because they hear, oh wow, she talks about these topics on the regular and she has other videos. So after this video, am I going to watch another video? And after two to three videos, that will probably convince them to want to subscribe to your channel. The last tip I have for you that I think really helped increase my subscriber account and help me hit a thousand subscribers in less than a year and that is is that I try to produce a value-driven content so value-driven content means that you're not just making videos because you like seeing yourself on the screen but because you're trying to impart some sort of knowledge or helpfulness to somebody who is watching this video and therefore it is making them feel like they're getting something out of watching it they're learning something they're being either entertained they are gaining something that they are looking for or an answer to a question they 
may have provide some sort of value for them watching your video. So that's why I make a lot of videos where I'm either sharing something that I'm doing, or I'm trying to give tips on things that I have learned and, and or simply just sharing my experience with something so that the person who is watching my videos feels that they're walking away with some useful information or something that they were looking for. So anytime people feel that they are gaining something from engaging in your content, people are more likely to want to subscribe and continue to watch you. It's also because when people get the sense that you are interested in them and you're not just doing this for yourself, you come across as being far more genuine and people are more likely to relate to you and want to continue watching you. So always do your best to create value driven content whenever you can on your channel, depending on whatever niche that you are particularly in then it will really, really help you to encourage people to want to subscribe and continue to follow your channel. All right, everyone. Thank you again so much for following me and watching my content and for helping me reach 1000 subscribers on my channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I'm always, always grateful for you spending your time with me. Thank you so much. And I will see you next week from life, work from life, <laughs> work from home. Help me hit a thousand, hit me. Wow. And get into videoing. I don't know. Videoing, really? What am I trying to say? I think that's it. Look, my photos look typically the same. Temporary. <laughs> then till. <laughs> Let's go. Boop, beep, ba doo. So, for example, today I'm talking about. Well, what am I talking about? All right. And last me. Last me. Last me. No, never mind. I'm not gonna say that. There we go.